Pimpeg and VLC installed on their machine because they both do really amazing things. They're free. And furthermore, I want to show how to add them to your uh, what's called the path so you can run them from command line. So FFmpeg and VLC are not there yet, but they will be soon. And so first I'll show FFmpeg. It's a little different than many Windows programs because it doesn't install itself. So when you click download, it brings you to a page to download the source, but we're on Windows, so we can follow the Windows icon to another page that has compiled the .exes for us so we don't have to do any work. Uh, so download FFmpeg, open with Explorer, fine. And so instead of letting a wizard install it for us, we just have to open the zip and dig into it and find the bins, the binaries folder. So these are the programs we want. Um, so we're going to move them with all my other programs in my C drive program files. So let me copy all these, go to C, program files, make a new folder called FFmpeg, uh, I approve, FFmpeg, go into it, and paste. Oh, I approve that too. So once we've dropped these files, they're extracted, they're ready to run, uh, but I want to be able to run this program from within any directory so I can run it on a file and create files and all that. So this still doesn't know where it is. And uh, the way to tell command prompt or PowerShell or terminal or any of these things where your program is at is by uh, setting the environment variable called path. So I can uh, just print the path to screen just to show you what it looks like, set path. So this is a list of directories that Windows will look into whenever you tell it to run a program. And if it can't find it, it'll tell you it's not recognized. So I can edit these. So uh, let me minimize that. Um, with this system properties here, I'll show you how to get there. Windows key system variables right there. And environment variables dot 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 brings you to a interface that lets you select these all these variables. So I'll just show you that uh, basically these are variables that any program on your machine can see. So if a program is running and it wants to know where the temp directory is, it can just ask hey, Windows, where's the temp directory? And it will tell it. Um, so we want to add ffmpeg, this directory. Um, actually, the ffmpeg slash bin, because that's where the programs are. So I can click here and get the full path. And now there's path for just me, and there's path for the whole system. It's up to you which one you want to edit. Um, I'm the only one on this machine, so I'll edit the system path and make a new one and just paste that directory path right there. Okay. And I think I'm going to need to restart my command prompt. Actually, I'll use PowerShell too. Just a lot of extra features. So now if I type ffmpeg, it's not recognized until I hit OK. What's the deal? Right, until I hit OK. So I've edited the path, so ffmpeg is now in my PowerShell, and I can run it uh, from anywhere. I can go to different directories and run ffmpeg from anywhere on the machine. So great, ffmpeg is ready to go. Now let's do VLC. So once you've hit download VLC and you've got the file, uh, win32.exe. Yes, I wanted to make changes to my device. So VLC does install itself, uh, which is super handy. Friendly wizard. Next, 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 next. All right, so VLC usually has, I mean, it always, if you ask it to, has uh, this nice user interface where you can open files, open network streams, capture your screen, uh, convert, save, all this. Um, but that's fine. I don't want a user interface. Uh, uh, so what I actually want to do is run it from here. It's not recognized, doesn't know where it is yet, but we know what to do. Um, so we have a shortcut and we can find out where the installer put it. So I can say properties, where does this shortcut go? Right here, this path. So again, I'll go to system environment variables and edit and go to my system variables path edit 
and make a new line on here. Paste that file, OK, and reboot the prompt. And now when I type VLC, it'll actually open the program. Oh, hit OK, open command, VLC. It opens the program. So uh, VLC has a lot of options that you can do in the command line without opening the user interface. Dumped content, so VLC help, OK. So now I can say type VLC help text. There, there it all is. So VLC is installed. There's a million things you can do without opening the user interface. And if you're wondering, why not just use the user interface? Um, so you can copy paste things. You can uh, use a lot of options that uh, instead of looking for it, I don't know. You can basically automate things and have other programs run these command line utilities for you. And uh, yeah, I'll show that in another video. This is just to get this going. So I can open command line and run VLC and my command line knows where it is. And now you do too. Okay, that's my video.